Good evening, Rene. How are you? Good evening. Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Welcome back to your English class. All right. Let me see. We're going to start right now because it's already time. So let's hope somebody else gets into the class. Esperemos que alguien más entre la clase later. Right. Let's see. What do we have? Today is Monday, October 18, 2021, all right? What are you doing? That's the topic for section five, right? What are you doing? We are in class 13, beginners one, all right? Let me check. We have this review about present continuous, just no questions, right? Last class, we were watching a little bit about this. Uh, actually, we spent quite a, some time in that topic, right? Tuvimos bastante tiempito en ese tema. Y ahora solo vamos a practicar con lo que ya tenemos de conocimiento acerca de este tema. All right? So let's see, Rene. I'm going, you are going to be the questions. I'm going to be the answers. Action. Okay. Uh, are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are they wearing glass glasses? Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, they aren't. Now let's change roles. I'm going to ask you, you're going to answer. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she is not. No, okay. she isn't. Okay. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, they are, aren't. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Renee. Let me go with them. <clears throat> we have this guiding structure, structure right? Um, can you please read the guiding structure, Rene? Verb to be plus subject plus verb plus ENG plus complement plus uh, question mark. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Very good. All right. Ahí lo tenemos. Cuando tenemos el verb plus ING, let me see. I think we have Mayra in the class. Hi, Mayra, welcome. Hi, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent, very good to see you. Well, I don't see you, but very good to have you in class. <laughs> Let me <laughs> see, Mayra. Mayra, cuando le ponemos al verb, le ponemos el ing, ¿cómo se vuelve el verbo? Progressive. Okay. Exactly, girl, very good. That's correct. No nos olvidemos, my dear students, no nos olvidemos que tenemos que tener el verb to be, right? Esta es la guiding structure para questions, right? Esto lo veíamos la clase pasada. No recuerdo muy bien si nos tardamos mucho tiempo en eso, pero sí veíamos el verb to be para hacer las preguntas. En todo el progressive que ustedes vean, tanto afirmativo como negativo, en pregunta, Van a ir el verb to be. Esa es una, um, es un punto específico, básicamente, de este, de este tema, all right? Tener el verb to be, it's mandatory. No podemos quitarlo porque si no, no tiene sentido en nuestras santas, all right? Veamos esto, let's move on with the other one. Solo tenemos estos examples aquí. Como les digo, este tema ya lo vimos, solo es un corto review. Let's see, Mayra, can you please read... Question number one, two, and three. Are you calling Pablo? Is Marta eating pizza? Are Julio and Fernando drinking soda? Excellent, very good. Rene, four and five, please. Are we wearing uniforms? Is David driving home? All right, excellent, very good, driving home. Very good. 
tenemos que saber escuchar las pronunciaciones de estos verbs. Qué bueno que ustedes lo están pronunciando excelente. We have no mistakes. No tenemos ningún error. Pero las pronunciaciones de estos verbos tenemos que tenerlas en mente, right? No las podemos cambiar. Eh, ya son est eh, estables y solo tenemos que practicar con ellas, right? Mi, my advice for you, mi consejo para ustedes siempre va a ser que entre más verbos puedan obtener, it will be easier for you to learn this stuff. Va a ser más fácil para ustedes comprender todos estos topics, right? Let's move on. We have practice time, all right? Let me see. I need that you guys create only one question, one question using present continuous. Please take your time, create that question, and then you let me know. I'm finished. All right, excellent, very good. Okay. Excellent, all right. Let's get started. Tell me, Mayra, your, ooh, tell me is, your question. Is that a pledge in cell phone? It is Tara. Tara. Ah, oh, okay. my daughter. <laughs> excellent, very good. With the cell phone, all right, excellent. That's correct. Let's go with Rene. Are you studying English? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. All right, un punto específico de esto, everybody. Están correctas sus oraciones. Por el hecho de que yo tengo el ing en mi verbo, cuando estoy preguntando, no significa que voy a hacer uso de un verbo para responder en ing, right? Si se notan aquí, como esto ustedes ya lo habían aprendido con otros tópicos, cuando comenzamos las questions con are, is, o am, la respuesta de eso solo va a ser yes, I am, no, I'm not. O sea, son respuestas cortas. Aquí no vamos a proveer mucha información, right? Estas preguntas no son precisamente para proveer mucha información. Right, let's move on. Bueno, esto de las conjunctions, ya lo veíamos la clase pasada. Cuando nosotros expresamos es cierto, ustedes aquí ven el ing y no ven el verb to be. Cuando nosotros expresamos preferences, solo utilizamos el like o el I prefer, right? Entonces, son verbos que sustituyen al verb to be. Entonces, como estamos mostrando solo preferencia, no necesitamos el verb to be. All right? Let's move on. Um, we were watching this guide in examples. I'm going to need, René, can you please read number one? I I am drinking soda and I am eating pizza, but I am not watching TV. Excellent, sir. Very good. Myra number two. Arnold is listening to music, but he is not studying. Studying. Yes. Studying. Excellent. Very good. Hi, Marisol Galdames. How are you? Hola. Hola, hola. Bueno. Let's see, Marisol. Bien, bien. Excellent. Very good. ¿Me das el favor de leer esta sentence, number three, please? They are working, but they do not like their home. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right. There you have it, guys. Look at this one. 
Si bien es cierto que en el example que creamos, eh, la clase pasada tal vez no utilizamos el verb to be, aunque ustedes sí lo hicieron, right? Para expresar preferencias, pero también el and y el but se ocupa con el progresivo, con la estructura que ustedes ya conocen, la que lleva el verb to be, right? Y el verbo en progresivo se ocupa, se utiliza. Pero aquí tenemos algo diferente. They are working. Ellos están trabajando, but they don't like their words. Aquí ya expresamos una preferencia y aquí, en esta segunda oración, ya no tengo necesidad de expresar una oración en progresivo, right? Yo fácilmente puedo decir, ellos están trabajando, pero pues no les gusta su empleo, right? They don't like their jobs, right? This is just for you to keep in mind. Esto es para que tengamos en cuenta de que no todo siempre es eh, directa o estrictamente como le dice la structure. Hay cosas que pueden variar y no es que esté mal a la estructura, solo que a medida que el lenguaje se va actualizando, también salen otras formas de poder expresar cosas. All right? Let's move on. Practice time. Bueno, let me see. Esto lo hicieron ustedes en la clase pasada. I'm going to move on to this part. Okay? We have time zones. Right, town cells. Let me see. Estas están en, in the map. Todas estas zonas están en el, in the map. Basically, are cities. Uh -huh. All of the cities are in the map, but I take them out, pero yo las saqué del mapa para tenerlas de una manera más ordenada. Porque lo que vamos a platicar aquí más que todo es el vocabulary, eh, la pronunciación de esas ciudades, right? We have Vancouver. Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, right? Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brazilian, Sao Paulo, Cape Town, Casablanca, London, Warsaw. Right, Warsaw. No voy a hacer mucho énfasis en esta con las W, solo Warsaw. Moscú. Or Moscú, right? Moscú. Raya. Raya. Seoul. Seoul. Bangkok. Bangkok. Tokyo. Sydney. Alright, quizás hay como dos o tres que sí nos puede costar la pronunciation. No se preocupen. No sé si ustedes ya lograron avanzar un poquito la section 5. Si es así, pues qué bueno. Ya vieron el, el video donde se presentan estos nombres. Solo es de practicar. Miren, aquí no hay magia, nada más que practicar. Practice, practice, practice. Y así van a lograr bien la pronunciation. Alright, let's get started. Let me see. I'm going to start with René. Okay, René, tell me from one to ten. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you, René. We're going to stop in there. Later, we're going to pass to Annette. Let's go with Maida. Tell me the cities right now from one to 10. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. All right, excellent, thank you. Marisol Galdames, please. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. Okay, repeat after me, Marisol, Cape Town. Cape Town. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. All right, let's move on with this one. From one to ten, I'm going to start with Mayra. Okay, Mayra, action. Casa Blanca, London, Warsaw, 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 Warsaw. Uh -huh. Moscow, 
Ya no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia. Ray. 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 Sí, se me vol... No sé. Se... <risa> Como que invierno. Son bien, bien difíciles los nombres de esto. It's true. <risa> Repeat en gay, please. Seoul. Vancouver. Tokio. En Sydney. Excellent. Very good. Sí, no se preocupe, Mayra, que esto solo practicando es que se logra eh, agarrar bien la pronunciación. Hay que darle replay, replay, replay a ese audio. <ríe> sí, sí, porque ellos sí tienen el native. Como ellos son natives, entonces sí se escucha bien bonita la pronunciación de ellos. Ya cuando nosotros lo estamos haciendo, ay, no. <ríe> All right. Excelente. No se preocupe, Mayra. Let's go with René. Casa Blanca, London, Ward. Warsaw, Moscú, Ripe, 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 Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. All right, excellent, very really good. That was pretty easy, right? Let's go with Marisol. Casa Blanca, London, Warsaw. Moscú, Rey, Seoul, Vice, ay, no puedo pronunciar ese, Vice, Which one? Tokio, Sydney, ¿perdón? Which one? ¿Cuál? Este, Bangkok. We, ajá, sí. Okay. Big one. Tokio, Sydney. All no, right, exit. No, ese último. Uh, Sydney. Okay. Sydney. Yes. That's the correct pronunciation, right, Sydney? Thank you, everybody. All right. As per usual, my only advice is to practice as much as you can. All right. Let me see. We have quite some content in here. Due to the fact that we are not so much in the class, we're not so many in the class. No estamos eh, reunidos muchos ahora. Vamos a repetir esta conversation a lot of time, which is good for you, lo cual es muy bueno para ustedes, porque usualmente entramos a la platform, quizás practicamos un ratito, and later, ya no, right? <laughs> porque tenemos otras cosas que hacer. Así que siempre vamos a tomar ventaja de eso. Listen carefully my pronunciation. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at, a I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake. Now, all right, very good. So he made a mistake by calling her. Se dio el error de que él le llamó justo creyendo que eran las cuatro de la tarde in, in Los Angeles, and it was not, right? It was four in the morning. All right, let's go. I'm going to have, and let me see, Rene Giron, you are John. Marisol Galdames, you are Debbie. Action. Hello. Hi. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? <laughs> oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10, 10 o'clock p.m. and It's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I am really sorry. That, okay. 
a damn hour no. Repeat after me, Marisol. Thank you, Rene. Thank you, Marisol. Repeat after me, Marisol. Away. Okay. Away? Now. Now. Mm -hmm. All right. Away. I'm away. Away. Uh, I'm away now. Excellent. Girl, very good. Thank you so much. Let's go with Mayra. Mayra, you are Debbie. And I'm going to be John. Later on, we're going to exchange, right? Después vamos a cambiar. Right now, I'm going to be John. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia. I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What day is it? What day is there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. <laughs> All right, excellent, Mayra, very good. Now, Mayra, you're going to be John. Rene Giron, you're going to be Debbie. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I at conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. They're in Los Angeles. Right. Yes. 4 o'clock. In the morning. 48? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm away now. Hi, very good. Thank you. Let me see. Marisol Galdames. You are John. I'm Debbie. All right. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. It a town calling from Australia. Australia. A town at a convert in Sydney. Remember. All right. What time is it there? It's day p.m. and it's four o'clock. Uh, they're in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the in the morning. For I am. Oh, Adam, really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. All right, excellent, Marisol. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. Vamos a repasar algunas. Eh, statements or words que pudieran habernos costado un poquito. Por ejemplo, la pronunciation of this. Este es PM y este es AM. Si ustedes me dicen I am, me están diciendo el subject I plus the verb to be. Y en este caso solo es AM. All right? AM. That's it. Vamos a ver. Um, let me see, René. Dígame dos ciudades que usted puede encontrar ahí en la conversation. Australia, Sydney. Right, very good. Let's see. Um, Australia is the country, right? So Sydney is the city. Very good. What about you, Mayra? Tell me another city. Los Angeles. That's correct. Excellent, everybody. Thank you so much. Por eso es la distorsión del horario, right? Porque están en diferentes ciudades and different countries. Um, es como si llamáramos a alguien en Italy, una persona en Italia ahorita en Italy. Yo creo que ahora ya están durmiendo, right? Meanwhile, we are working in El Salvador. All right, so let's move on. <coughs> ahora sí, vamos a ver eso. Esta parte es bien importante. Con esto comunicamos eh, el tiempo, right? Time zones. 
eh, hora dependiendo de la zona, right? Eh, let's see. Hay diferentes maneras en las cuales se puede expresar la hora de algún lugar. Estas son algunas de las que ustedes van a aprender ahora. A lo largo de su historia aprendiendo inglés, van a ir a captando más, right? No se preocupen si ahorita con el primero, pues ustedes piensan, no, yo he escuchado otras, mire, y estas son más difíciles. Sí, crisis, right? Van a llegar a ese punto. Todo tiene su punto. Let's see. Voy a repetirlas primero y después las van a repetir ustedes. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. Yo aquí puedo decir it's one o five, que significa la una y cinco. It's five after one. It's five after one. Right? Este no se traduce literal porque serían cinco minutos después de la una, right? Sería algo raro. It's five after one. Lo que nosotros decimos la una y cinco, right? It's one fifteen. It's why it's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's a quarter after one. Esto es un cuarto. Cuarto, una y cuarto, all right? Una y cuarto o una y quince. It's quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. Twenty to two. Veinte minutos para las dos. Twenty to two. O podemos decir, it's one forty. Es la una y cuarenta. Right? Son dos maneras diferentes. It's one forty-five. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two. Esto quiere decir es un cuarto a las dos. All right? Mientras que aquí es la una y cuarto, aquí es un cuarto a las dos. Right? Tenemos estas time expressions como el after. Right? Que nos ayudan a ver eh, qué tiempo está indicando. Luego tenemos esto. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Right? De las 12 en adelante vuelve a ser, eh, eso es lo que se le llama midnight, right? Medianoche. De las 12 de la noche en adelante, que ya es la madrugada, ya por eso se ocupa el AM, right? Let's take into account this information. Everyone, regálenme un segundito, por favor, solo voy a tomar agua. Ya regreso, right? Give me one second. All right, I'm back, right? Let me see. Uh, right now you are going to participate, right? Si ustedes sienten en algún momento que hay una palabra que ustedes no la pueden pronunciar, me avisan con tiempo. Porque a veces si tenemos problemas con una pronunciación, a mí me da pena interrumpirlo, right? Porque yo sé que ustedes van con todo el flow del mundo, pero eh, me da pena interrumpirlos, así que. Eh, prefiero que ustedes me digan de antemano, Miss, esta palabra me cuesta y yo les ayudo, right? Let's see. Let's get started. Vamos a comenzar. Bueno, primero, let's see. Mary Montano. Hi, welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you, Mary? Fine. Excellent. Very good to have you in class. Ok, Mary, vamos a comenzar con usted. Solo estamos viendo las time zones. Cómo expresar el tiempo, right? 
You may start as well. Usted puede comenzar, me va a decir todo este vocabulary que se encuentra aquí y luego va a continuar con esto. Ok. It's one o'clock. It's one o' five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's one twenty two. Twenty two two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. And then, and then these ones. Okay. In the morning, I am. AM, AM, uh, noon, AM, AM. Sí, unos segunditos antes de que usted haya entrado, les estaba comentando yo de que eh, no solo nos pasa aquí, sino que a todos cuando aprendemos a saber qué será que nuestro cerebro agarra que este es I am, como si dijera yo soy, right? Pero es AM. I am. Uh, yes. Yes, teacher, por eso me quedé así como. Iba a decir, I am. <risa> yes, no, ya ve, Pero es, lo conozco, ya pasé por eso. I am. <risa> ok. No, PM. In the afternoon, PM. In the even, evening, PM. At night, PM. Midnight, AM. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, right? Ya cambia la pronunciation. It was pretty amazing. Thank you, Mary. Estaba excelente. All right. Let me tell you this. Cuando ustedes se conectan, a la hora que ustedes sean en su clase, es correcto que ustedes digan good afternoon, right? Eso es lo concreto y lo normal. No sé si a ustedes ya les habrá pasado, si hablan con alguien en la noche o saludan a alguien en la noche, automáticamente nuestro cerebro cree que sería good night, ¿verdad? Para saludarlo. Pues sucede lo contrario, cuando estamos hablando con alguien, supongamos que de las 4 en adelante, hasta qué sé yo, las 10, las 11, pero siempre que saludemos a alguien, es good evening, right? Good evening. No podemos decir good night, good night, right? Porque eso es solo cuando ya nos vamos a dormir. Other than that, solo tenemos que decir good evening, right? Um, let me see. Y la normal que es good morning, right? Ahora vamos con Mayra, your turn, please. Give me the honors. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirteen. It's one forty. It's twenty. To two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Excellent, girls. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's go with Rene Hiron, please. It's one o'clock, it's one of five, it's five after one, it's one fifty, it's a quarter after one, it's one thirty, it's one forty, it's twenty two, it's one forty five, it's a quarter to two. In the morning, noon, in afternoon, in evening, at night, midnight. All right, excellent. Thank you, Rene. Very good. Let's go with Marisol. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. After one. It's 
150 is water as after one is one dinner is 140 is 20 to do is one four five is water to do in the morning a.m. no p.m. in the after, after p.m. in the evening p.m. at night p.m. midnight a.m. Excellent girl, very good. Repeat after me, Marisol. Water, 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 mm -hmm. water, water. Excellent. Y aquí es noon. Noon. Mm -hmm. Noon. All right, excellent, everybody. Thank you so much. Let's move on. What else do we have in here? Practice time. All right. Este es su practice time, esta es su practice time. Ya con esto hemos avanzado, creo que llegamos casi hasta la 5.11, creo que hasta la 5.11, llegamos hasta ahorita aquí, right? Ya solo faltan como dos cositas más, terminamos eso y nos vamos al midterm, al final exam, que por supuesto será para las clases de la siguiente, um, de esta semana, pero me refiero a las siguientes clases, right? Vamos a continuar con eso. Practice time. Escuchen primero, then it's your turn. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. Yo tengo dos opciones. Yo puedo decir, it's seven o'clock in the morning, y me quedo hasta ahí. O puedo decir, como es más fácil y común, it's seven a.m. Ya se saben que esos son los acronyms. De eso, ¿verdad? El AM es lo mismo para nosotros. Son los acrónimos para poder transmitir el tiempo. Right? Luego tenemos, it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. Tenemos tres formas. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. Right? Esas son las tres formas. It's noon. Fácilmente, si son las 12 en punto al mediodía, all right? Podemos decir, it's noon, y nos quedamos hasta ahí. Es entendible que estamos en el lapso de tiempo de las 12 a las 12 y media, de 12 a 1 casi. All right. Let's see. Luego tenemos, it's 4 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock. In the afternoon. Aquí solo tenemos dos options. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Es la primera. It's 4 p.m. Es la segunda. It's 4 p.m. Right? It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. De nuevo, solo tenemos two options. It's 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 o'clock at night. <clears throat> It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. Luego tenemos, vale, otra vez, solo tenemos dos formas de expresar el tiempo. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 o'clock at night. Esa es la primera forma. Y luego tenemos, It's 12 a.m. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. It's midnight. Fíjense bien en esto. Solo al mediodía o a la medianoche yo puedo expresar estas dos eh, palabras o estas dos expresiones para dar el tiempo. It's noon, it's midnight. De lo contrario, en todas las demás tengo que ser bien específica a la hora que lo estoy utilizando, right? Midnight, de nuevo, es a las 12, right? Let's see. Um, ya si hablamos de la una, de las dos, de las tres, de la madrugada, ya deja de ser midnight. Ya ahí es morning, in the morning, right? Ahora les va a tocar a ustedes. Voy a comenzar con René Girón, please. It's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven. I am. 
Hey, hey, um, hey, um, it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's it's 12 a.m. Uh, a.m. It's midnight. All right, excellent, sir. Very good. All right, let's go with Mayra, please. Give me the honors. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's excuse me. <laughs> Don't it's worry, it's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It, it's 12 o'clock at night, it's 12 a.m., it's midnight. All right, excellent, very good. Ya ven que cuando decimos más despacito el a.m., ya se nos queda, right? Que es a.m., no I am. Excellent, very good. Let's go with Marisol Galdames, please. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It, uh, hi, it's yet, it's yet seven o'clock. Seven a.m. Seven, seven a.m. No, seven a.m. A.m. Mm -hmm. It's twelve o'clock. It, ay, es que la doce. Twelve p.m. p.m. Well, es lo mismo, well, aquí tiene los números yeah. Esta es, it's 12 o'clock Aquí lo está expresando con palabras Y aquí ya uh -huh. con números, pero es el mismo número Ah, ok It's 12 p.m. It, no It's 4 o'clock In the af, af, Afternoon It's 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's o'clock close in the, in the evening. In 7 p.m. It's day o close at night. It's 7 p.m. It's 12 o'clock close at night. It's 12 a.m. It's the midnight. Midnight, excellent, very good. Thank you, Marisol. All right, let's go with Mary, please. Okay, it's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. 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 <laughs> it's twelve o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock. In the afternoon, it's uh, 4 p.m. It's seven o'clock. In the evening, it's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock. At night, it's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. All right, excellent girl, very good. Very good, everybody, excellent, All right? 
Let me see. ¿Tienen alguna duda ustedes de la pronunciación de algún vocabulary de esta parte? Aprovechen ahorita porque media vez pasemos de esta franja de, de, de esta section, ya no vamos a volver atrás, right? Entonces aprovechen si ustedes tienen algún problema con morning, con noon, pueden aprovechar para decir. No questions, everything clear? No question. Excellent, very good. Solo recordándoles a everybody, aquí no es non. Si decimos non, eso es otro significado de otras palabras, right? Non significa ninguno en realidad. Entonces aquí es noon, right? Noon. Good afternoon. In the afternoon, right? Lo, lo mismo aquí, no es evening, es evening, right? Evening. Recuerden que en el abecedario en inglés la S menciona como I. All right. Excellent. Very good. Let's move on. ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? Esta es mi parte favorita. Ustedes van a ver un video donde se muestra la intonación, porque sí, es cierto, muy bueno. Estamos practicando el speaking, estamos practicando el listening, el writing, todo. Excellent. Pero ¿qué hay de las intonations? Ustedes recuerdan que desde las primeras. Conversations, yo les decía, hey, let's work on that intonation, ¿verdad? Es cierto que quizás en nuestro, no, no sé, creo que ya es en el idioma, en el español, siempre hablamos así, right? No hay una fluidez de subir o bajar, a no ser que estemos alegres, which is not all the time, lo cual no es todo el tiempo. All right, let's see. Escuchen cuidadosamente y luego les va a tocar a ustedes. Hay un video de esto también en la plataforma. It says, listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes, no, and WH questions. It says, is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? What are, what's she doing? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? En las double H words, yo puedo decir bien entonada la palabra con doble DH, pero luego voy decayendo, right? I'm, I have fallen intonation. Tengo una entonación que va bajando, right? Eso es con las double H words. Pero con las que conocemos como yes, no questions, o más fácilmente las que comienzan con el verb to be. Ahí no, yo ahí subo, right? No voy a hacer ninguna entonación hacia abajo, ahí subo. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Right? What's she doing? What are they doing? Right? Vamos de bajar. Eh, I'm going, we're going to practice. Let me start with eh, Mayra, please. Sin el micrófono. All right. Is she getting getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right. Excellent. Very really good. I'm going to have Mary Montano, please. Mary? Okay, we don't have Mary, so let's go with Marisol Galdames, please. Is she wearing night? Are now? they sleeping? What, what's she doing? What are they doing? Okay. Excellent, very good, Marisol. Let's go with Renee.
Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right, excellent. Very good. Let me see, guys. Let me ask you something. Um, do you feel that it's difficult to make the intonation up? ¿Sienten ustedes que es muy difícil darle la entonación hacia arriba? Sorry, teacher, I'm here. All right, very, very good. Ajá, se levantó a tomar café a plena una de la tarde. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Ay, no, pero no vaya a mezclar café con sopa. I don't recommend that. <laughs> All right, Mary, su turno, oh. please. Okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right, excellent. Vamos a ver. Para que no se nos olvide esto, yo me he encargado de escribirles aquí esta information. Tomen ventaja de esto y copienlo en su nota, right? Esto también creo que lo dicen en el video y creo que de ahí lo saqué específicamente. Vamos a ver. Dice, for just no questions, it will be a rising intonation. Rising intonation. For double age questions, there is falling intonation. Falling intonation. Vamos a ver, René Giron, me lee la information of this chart. For yes, no question, it will be a rising intonation. For, Thank you. for double age question, there is falling intonation. Excellent, sir. Very good. Thank you. Mayra, can you please read the information of both charts again? For WH question, there is a falling intonation. Excellent. Yes. Mama. The yellow one. <laughs> For just no question, it will be a racing intonation. Or racing. Right. Excellent. Very right. good. Ahora usted, Mary, me lo lee, por favor. Lo vamos a leer cuatro veces. Ya van a ver. Ok, Mary. For yes, no questions. It will be a reason, intonation. In, no, intonation. Uh -huh. Intonation. For WH questions, there is a falling intonation. Excellent, Mary. Thank you. Y ya, por último, Marisol, help me, please, with this information. For just no, no question, it will be a reason in donation. For WH, WH question, there is a fine in intonation. All right, excellent. Thank you, Marx. All right, everyone. Entonces, let's see, René. ¿Cuándo vamos a subir la entonación en las preguntas? When is she or not question. Exactly, yes or no question. Mayra, ¿y cuándo voy a bajar la entonación en mis questions? Your microphone. I know, <laughs> WH question. Excellent, very good. Tengamos en mente eso, mire, to be honest, para serles bien honestos, bien honesta, la mayoría del tiempo cuando hablamos así bien rápido, Cuesta pensar en eso. Nuestro cerebro, por algún, for some reason, no lo archiva muy bien. Pero entre más practiquemos, va a ser más fácil que el uso de ambas estructuras tenga una entonación perfect, right? Ustedes ya han mejorado muchísimo su speaking y eso es, es muy alentador y es muy bueno, right? Porque significa que están tomando ventaja de este curso. All right, everybody. Con esto nos acabamos ya el content for this class. Solo quiero hacerle una, hacerles una consulta. ¿Qué tal vamos con la plataforma hasta el momento? No nos hemos quedado con espacios en blanco, con espacios en blanco en la section one, two, and three, and four. No, I finished. Right, excellent. Ya la terminó toda. Yes. Yes. Medio. I right. finished. Excellent. Very good, guys. Solo el examen. 
right. Solo el examen nada más pendiente. All right, excellent. Muy bien. Mañana vamos a, hacer un, vamos a comenzar con el review porque sí, con el, con el final exam. Eh, vamos a comenzarlo mañana y es probable que para el miércoles ya lo hayamos terminado. Y el jueves vamos a hacer un review de todos los contexts. Hay que aprovechar hasta el último día ya para hacer un review de todo. Un review es un repaso en general, right? All right, everybody. That was pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to have you in this class and see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. Take care.